o'clock. And switching gears, the homeless crisis here in San Diego seems to be getting worse and worse by day. And business owners now say it's affecting their business. David Roger from Felipe Pizza's Grotto spoke this week at the San Diego City Council meeting about how bad the problem is getting in front of his business and the whole area of downtown. And he joins us now. David, good to see you. Good to see you. And your pizza is delicious, by the way. Thank you. It's only taken us 73 years to get there. Wow. <laughs> so let's talk about the San Diego City Council meeting on Tuesday. It was a long day for everyone. The council meeting started at 1 o'clock, didn't end until nearly 11 o'clock. You got there at noon. Correct. And this was the, the vote for the unsafe camping ordinance. That passed City Council by 5 to 4 vote. And there's been a lot of reaction, a lot of support, a lot of pushback. What was your stance on this ordinance? Well, we we understand that, that the homeless in San Diego do need to have housing and, and a lot of those issues. And we understand that that it's only one or two percent of the homeless that are actually causing the problem. But like the mayor's office said, there's only 21, 2200. And there's one point, just under 1.4 million people in the city of San Diego. So we're giving so much attention to this, this such small percentage of the trouble, the problems. And, and, and owners are just, have got to do something because we have, we have transients and homeless people coming in and, and literally taking food off of people's plates, walking in, using our restrooms. And it's, and it's, it's out of control. Um, our business has the big red chair that everyone knows about to go have your picture taken. And I mean, there's people sleeping in it and, and defecating and, and it just, you know, Little Italy is, is, is a beautiful place and, and it's a good place to go to. And, and they just, it, it's so bad that people feel afraid and it's going to affect uh, tourism. It's going to affect a lot of things. And, you know, maybe if the city figured out that they lost three or four billion dollars in tourism because of homeless, they needed to do something. So, you know, Todd stepped up and, and, and started talking about it. And Steve actually, you know, came up with something. And Well, we've heard from the council members. We hear from so many who are supporting the ordinance and who are against it. But it's great to hear from residents and business owners who actually have to live it and see it on a daily basis. You live in the downtown San Diego area, right next to the House of Blues, and you see it firsthand how bad it's getting. Also, for Felipe's in Little Italy, from what I have observed as a news reporter going out and working in, in the community, is that the homeless has been moving to the Little Italy area, something that you really haven't seen in the last 10 years, but over the last couple of years, you're seeing it more. Right, and, and, and that's caused by the intensification is there's so many of them. You go down by like um, the trolley center. I mean, it, it's incredible how many people are there and, and they, they, they exit and they start looking for other places to go because there's so many of them. And, and it's just, um, it, it's time the city really had to do something. And, and, and like they said, it may, this may not be the fix all, but at least it's doing something. And, you know, the police department needs to step up and give more officers to do this. This plan didn't offer any of that. It's just existing police officers, and they're already strained. And, and there was already, before this even passed, they were talking about, well, we're going to have to work this in waves. We'll go do this part here, this part there. So. Well, according to city council, this ordinance will not go into effect 30 days after their first sleep sleeping site will open. And it's expected to open July 1st in Golden Hill at 20th and B, which is the city's maintenance yard. Many say it's not happening soon enough. As a business owner and a resident being down there, seeing it, how bad is it? How, how frightened are you to be in that area and to live there? Well, me being an old football player playing football I'm fearless but I mean I see people like in our building that are afraid to go outside and and, and it's just it's it's males and females um, you know we get windows broken uh, they, there's a empty building next to us and they just they break the windows it just there's nobody in there there's nothing there they just walk down the thing and these windows are like three and four thousand dollars and they just for nothing better to do they just 
do it. And a lot of it is mental illness, too. It's not, you know, the county needs to step up and, and take its position. It's responsible for that part of, of San Diego County and, and take care of some of the, the, the mentally challenged. Right. And before we go, we hear a lot from residents and business owners. Do you feel that the city is listening to you when you are calling in city council, calling in to the police department saying this needs to stop, this needs to clear out the transients and the unhoused that are camping in the area, are damaging my property, scaring my customers away? Do you feel that the city is listening to you? Well, it, it's kind of it's deaf ears. They're, they're trying to do something. Mr. Whitburn is trying, they're, they're trying to take a step, okay? Now, we can only measure that by after they start doing something, if it actually does affect. And, and basically, Todd Gloria has made, he's, he's laid his whole um, election out. If this doesn't work, he's history. Well, Dave Roger, thanks so much for your time. Join us on Good Evening San Diego. I know it was a long day for you on Tuesday at the City Council meeting. <laughs> yes. You got there at 12 o'clock when that meeting started at 1. Yes. So we appreciate your time, and I definitely need to go into Felipe soon and get a slice of pizza. Come on down. Oh, thank you. Good <laughs> to see you. Nice thank to you. See you. Logan?